Oh my goodness. Crap. Jesus. Just one of those days. Oh man, sorry to have the camera on. Oh. Everything weird stuff, every weird thing is happening today. But uh, we are hooked up this morning, guys, out here in Stewart, Florida. And we have our kite fishing set up in the, up in the air. Just got our first spot of the morning. Beautiful sailfish. And the sailfish just swam gracefully right by the side of the boat forever. He didn't even know he was hooked. He didn't even know he was hooked for a long time. And I finally oh. broke that kite clip and he did one nice jump. Yeah, I mean, he looks like he might have a little, some seaweed on him. Yeah. So I'm not sure. He just came right to the boat and he swam like right here. So graceful and nice and slow. He's gonna jump. There he is. Oh, yeah, see, oh, he's, he's a little side hooked or something. He's wrapped. I know, we gotta get this thing off him. He's definitely wrapped. Yeah, I'll back up a little. Big sail. Come on, sail. Come on, sail. Come on, buddy, turn your head. There we go. Come to the boat, come to the boat. Oh, he just got unwrapped, I think. There he is. I see him. Official catch. He didn't like that boat at all. Woo! Oh. Here we go to the leader again. Woo! Oh, Come on, Parker. Where is he? Right, right here. Right. Give me that damn leader. Ugh. Come on. Nice job. Woo! Oh. Perfect, crazy sailfish release. Ooh, that was crazy. That was insane. <laughs> oh. Burn the heck out of my thumbs trying to push on that drag and just slow them down because we really just want to get those fish off. Oh shoot, it's in the pot. Wait, is there another fish on? The seal's wrapped on it. He ate both? Oh, he's bleeding. That's a different seal. What? It was in the corner of his mouth on that fish. He had his tongue out. Weird. Or maybe it just came to the circle of the corner. Weird. We'll never know. That was weird. Okay. Want to go ahead. All right, guys. We moved on from that spot. Seemed to have dried up a little bit. And uh, we're trying to find some different spots. You know, we're just look at the fish angle wrap and things like that. And we want to catch groupers and red snappers, which aren't really that popular in Stewart. So we're trying to fish more towards Fort Pierce. So right now we're out about 140 feet. She's deeper than we usually fish completely. Deeper than we usually fish for the bottom, but hopefully we get bigger fish. If we actually catch something, I'll tell you where we are. But we're going to be trying a bunch of different spots today, using our depth finder and, and the app a lot. You know, you got to always be looking for new spots, otherwise you're just not going to find new spots and not catch fish, obviously. Ew, that squid shit is disgusting. Get him up, Brian. Get him up. You filming? Yeah, I'm good, filming. Good, good, good. He's got his little clicker that he has a necklace that he turns on the camera. Get that big fish up! It's a fish, it's not that big, but it's the biggest thing I've caught in a couple hours, man. We've just been bouncing around trying different spots. We've been freaking working our butt off. And it's Another a sea bass. Another sea bass. Nice. He got one just before as well, a little smaller than that guy. But we are working for our fish today. Absolutely working for it. I hope you guys you how these up more north, north is a little baby. Black sea bass are delicious. Watch that swing and wait. <laughs> that wasn't really swinging that much. Oh, okay. Catch him up, Sizzle. Look at that. Ooh. A little bigger? A little bigger. Why are you just straight crushing fish after fish right now? <laughs> you know, nothing like too big, but like at the same time, like we're catching fish and having a blast. And this looks different. Big lane, big, big lane. lane. Hey. That's a nice lane. Lane in the boat on its famous chicken rig. That's a monster lane, bro. Dude, that's nice. That's a nice lane. Nice fish. Good job. Use that de-hooker. Yeah, fish. I got something. It's, about it's time. a miracle. It's not up here yet. Don't get your hopes up. Come on, real. Brian, I know. It's taking drag. Oh. I got some gloves on. Okay, watch this line. What line? Your line. You don't want to lose a fish you wrapped up in your line. Okay. We're right here. I'm in your line. You got oh, a grouper. Come here, come here, come here. I don't know what's going to be. It's not going to keep, but... Woohoo! Grouper in the boat! I found the spot!
Yes, How I How big do they got to be? 24? I don't know. I think it's 24, but let's double check. Hold He's on, close. Ryan, He's close. Really? He's 19. All right. Nice. Hold that fish up so they don't get him in the back in the water. No. No. 19, no 19. No good. You see him. Beautiful fish. Look how pretty these red groupers are. Look nice. how pretty. This bite might be turning on. It's finally the afternoon. Not a whole lot of fish for the morning for us, but we're starting to get into some fish right now. So nice. let's let this beautiful fish go. He gone. <laughs> they just take right back off to the bottom. He gone. Um, but we're fishing a shallow reef, so they're not embolizing and like blowing up their stomach, so they're easy. And now we got a tangled mess to take care of, and hopefully we'll catch some more fish here soon. Hey, Sean. Nice. They love these thread fins today, huh? Get him, Sizzle. Oh, another grouper. He's close size, too. Oh, Jesus. Sizzle. Sorry, babe. Come on. You're good. Another gag? grouper. Holy cow. Well, I found a red grouper hole. Just so far, nothing gonna keep, but that's okay. We found grouper in Stewart. It is now officially grouper season, so everybody is catching keeper reds, blacks, gags. Those are all different types of grouper. And this is a red grouper. A lot of people, of course, love grouper in particular, but look at that circle hook right in the corner, doing its job. Come on, buddy, I'm trying to let you go. You can't eat you. Uh, but yeah, we're like we said, we're just exploring new spots, putting in our work today, and sure did enough. Did you say put in in your work? Putting in our work today. I did say put in. Oh, I just would love to get a tasty little grouper. It would be <laughs> awesome. A little smaller than that first guy. They're so pretty, and he's making all these weird noises. I wish you guys could hear it, but um, I could feel them thumping inside, and they got those juicy cheeks. But let's stop talking about them. Juicy let them cheeks. Go. Yeah, grouper cheeks. Oh, yep, group, no. oh, grouper cheeks. Let's let him go. Go ahead. Get lined right back down. These red grouper are chewing right now. Chewing, chewing. All right, so I cut off the two. Because these red, these red grouper, I just caught both exactly like this. Cut the tail off so that way it doesn't spin on the way down and ruins your whole entire rig. Take your silver hook to match the size of your bait, of course. And I run it up through the dead bait. Kind of close his mouth and then up through almost like his brains. As high as up as I can go so they can't steal it. And that's basically how I send it down, straight to the bottom. And that's literally how I caught the last two grouper on a dead thread fin that we caught today. And how long is your leader? And my leader today is a little shorter because I'm not targeting, necessarily targeting mutton snappers. Uh, and with these grouper, being grouper season in particular, we've always wanted to catch them, so I'm just thrilled they caught two. They like to rock you up back into structure. So you wanna have a shorter leader, so that way you're able to control them better and get them out of the holes. And they're kind of dumb. So um, they literally, you know, no problem with that. But the mutton snappers, you need the long yeah, leader guys, for because they're smart and they see your weight. Right, you guys always ask how come you use such long leaders. And typically, the smarter a fish is, the harder it is to catch, the more stealthy you gotta be, the longer and thinner your leader has to be on fluoro and all that kind of stuff. So muttons are very smart. So you want a big one, you need a long leader. Groupers are very dumb. If you want a big one, you can use a short lead. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Red, red snapper is the same way as the grouper. Dumb as, a, dumb as a box of rocks. She's on again two seconds later. With that bait I just showed you. Yeah, literally. All right, this is fighting a little different. We'll see. Let's He's see. He's swimming up. Could be Hopefully he's not a runner. Oh! Could be a king, get this guy, get this guy, line. get this guy, get this guy. Big mangrove, big mangrove. Holy cow, that is a big mangrove. Woo! <laughs> Hell yeah! Mark that spot right now. Mark it over there. Big mangrove. Heck yeah! That's a monster! <laughs> Woo! We're getting into fish now! What, you got right, what there? we got over here? What? I don't know. Oh, the drift goes farther back. Look at that, Marks. That's a big fish. Yeah, but look at the Marks. Yeah. I bring the GoPro over, but I just ran out of batteries. We're just having all kinds of weird issues today, guys. We apologize. Yeah, I apologize that the audio has been in and out, and it has been so stressful for me because I really like to focus on audio. But, um. Get him, sizzle. Jeez. I don't know what it is. What Are you getting, you're getting a gaff? What are you doing? I don't know what I'm doing. That's a good question. What it's a it? freaking king. Practice. practice. You can't practice on a king at all. Yes, you can. We lose them, we lose them. She's yelling at me. Wish I had a 
Good job. GoPro. That's perfect. Headshot. Boom. That's how you do I'm it, guys. Learning. You guys are constantly talk, yelling at us about how we don't know, know how to gaff fish or whatever. Because we're bad at it. Look at our circle hook. Perfect. <laughs> no, but listen, you guys you say bet. we're professionals. We're not professionals, okay? We're yeah. out here having fun and learning as we go along. We're not charter captains. We fish for a living, but we're not, we don't consider ourselves like an ultimate professional fisherman. Right. We don't fish tournaments regularly. We're just not into that serious stuff. And unfortunately, we don't catch enough I'm big fish to gaff. Like crazy. We don't catch enough big fish to cast. <laughs> Sometimes we do. All right, but, uh, we're still marking fish. We're going down. Also, going down. who cares where you get the fish? That's, anyone who says you get them in the meat is a, is a googan being a jerk, frankly. Who cares? If the fish is in the boat. My fish, this fish is in the boat. And whoever said that is watching me put the fish in the boat. So, there you go. But, any, but yeah, we just tell you what we do. We, we don't claim nothing else Simple besides as that. that. Everything we know, we stole from somebody else. Just like you're going to steal from us and you're going to get some other tips and you're going to steal from them. And that's it. Simple as that, guys. I, 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 here following you, I, I never told you I was a good fisherman. I never told you I, I was excellent. Yeah. I just, we just tell you what we do. I saw multiple comments like that. Like, oh, you guys say you're good fishermen, but you need to learn how to gaff fish or professional fishermen. Never said that. We never said that. So I don't know where you got your information. <laughs> Uh, but we're out here just following our dreams, guys, okay? And teaching you guys what we know along the way. That's basically how this works. Darcy's got a full bloodbath going on back here right now. We're falling, we're falling. <laughs> Watch your booty. We've got to hide the booty. I'm trying to take these pictures. Look at some fish in the boat, man. Look at this mango she just caught. Woo-hoo! On a plug. All right, so, so far, the best fish of the day have come on dead bait. Oh, we got all these juicy live baits in the well. And it's just so interesting because every day it changes out here and some days the live baits are the best thing out here but i've been fishing live bait all day with not a freaking fish and then all of a sudden i put down these these uh plugs and all of a sudden we're catching a ton of fish two grouper my first grouper is in stewart and a mango meanwhile i got a live grunt which you guys if you know about fishing you know a grunt's like a great bait for grouper he's been sitting out there this whole time while we've been talking about how terrible we fish <laughs> all right we're ready you got them on? Got something on. It's not big, not big. You got them on. Although I'm so strong, it's hard to tell sometimes. Could be a nice mangrove. Still getting little bites. Another Mine mangrove. catches little mangroves. <laughs> <laughs> I catch him, uh, I don't even know. Keeper mangroves. That is a keeper. Yeah. Not by much, but. But if you're noticing, I'm lazy and I'm using a short leader, five foot. Darcy is an excellent, passionate, competitive fisherman. How long is your leader? 10 foot. And she's catching all the good fish, so, you know. Well, why are you making yourself not catch fish? We gotta catch I'm fish. I'm trying to, um, this is a teaching moment Frank's for everybody. Frank's not here. This is a teaching moment. I'm teaching them, by example, what not to oh, do. Oh, so we can catch less fish, got it. Oh, <laughs> I didn't realize those repercussions. <laughs> but I'm glad you guys were able to witness what's going on. Mucho relevento to the prior conversational. That's my Spanish. Do you guys know I was really bad at language? Something people are good at, something people are bad at. I'm good at reading and lifting heavy rocks. I'm terrible at baseball and languages. In college, I was voted my Sp college level Spanish two class, which I had to take. I had to put, took a pass fail. I was voted least likely to participate. It had awards at the end of the year. That was me. Oh! Get a sizzle. It's real, Randall. Feeling like it's a mangrove. Another, you know fish? another beauty. What? Whoa. Nice. This is the one she just caught. The one she caught before. They were just pulverizing that dead bait down there. And the one I caught is that one over there. Yeah. <laughs> Nice. Here you go. Hey, no, you don't gotta show them together. <laughs> Mine's the cutest. Yours is the cute. Look at that circle hook just fell right out. Dang. All right, nice. Couple nice fish on that drift. Let's get back on it, right? Yeah. 
As usual, we had a great day on the water. <laughs> yeah, we really did. You know, another one of those days where it started out kind of slow, yes. but then it really picked up. We got a sailfish. Bunch of fish. And then uh, the grouper. Bunch of groupers. I know we didn't catch any keeper groupers, but just to have a grouper spot is like a major accomplishment for any day of fishing, I feel. Yes. It's awesome. Yes. Can't wait to go back there now. <laughs> <laughs> right, can't wait. Grouper season's open. Let's go. And uh, we had the mangroves for dinner, so it was really, and the kingfish, so it was a really great day. And uh, just on those rigs, I know we don't talk about uh, Darcy's bottom rigs. I mean, I talk about Darcy's bottom rig all the time, but today we also used a chicken rig. Uh, a very common rig is a knocker rig. I'll put a little thing up here. Um, a fish finder rig, which is kind of a standard mutton rig. Yeah. And then and then, and Darcy's rig. But uh, I'm going to do a more detailed thing for that for the Patreons if you want to check that out. But uh, that's really about it. Yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode. And we hope to be back with more real soon. Until then. Follow your, your dreams, dreams and keep, keep on, on catching. catching. It's time to go fishing. We're going fishing again We're right now. We're making another video right now. Let's go. Can't wait. <laughs>